Hey there, this is a uh, uh, cry for help, please. I'm requesting conspiracy cats can please. But when you scroll, you see when. Ranty Flat Earth, who has published classics like this video. Time after time, with his films and pictures, he has proved that we live on a globe. When he posted this post, I became curious and watched the two videos he was referring to. Ranty, is it really Miles who has something to explain? So according to Ranty, Miles Davis does not show that the earth is round in his video. Let's watch a part of his video. So this morning I went to Abadar on the Fife coast and uh, took some video. And this is the location from which the uh, video was shot um, at the highest elevation. And I then moved from this elevation uh, down uh, the steps you're about to see towards the, uh, the little light beacon that you can see in the distance there. There's two light beacons, one used and one disused. And so we're changing our elevation and taking video uh, from different, different heights above sea level. Now let's have a look at uh, what I was able to see. So a quick look on Google Earth just to um, look at the location. I was in Abadawa looking towards North Berwick. Abadawa is a little uh, village on the coast, uh, on the Fife coast of the Firth of Forth. Uh, I've overlaid an ordnance survey map here um, just to uh, confirm the elevations for the various points where uh, I took some video. So um, there's a little um, lighthouse down at five meters and then uh, above the sea level and then there's a, a little hill and some steps up the hill and I was located the high point was between the 25 and 20 meter contour lines there my camera on this little knoll and um, on a tripod I took another video from uh, just above the 15 meter contour line and uh, another video from next to that little light beacon there uh, which is uh, the five meter contour little line doesn't perfectly line up um, with where that uh, lighthouse is but that's where the five meters is uh, five meters above sea level and then I took some more video from lower down and we're looking across towards um, the islands off the East Lothian coast near North Berwick so we have the island of Vidra um, the red and green lines here indicate the line of sight from the uh, high elevation. Here is the video from Flatsa which according to Ranty disproves, Miles. The video lacks speech so I removed the sound. Shaky, blurry, in other words, a typical flat earth video. Mm-hmm.
would this blurry film prove that the earth is flat? Have you smoked mushrooms ranty? Let's look at some close-ups of the lighthouse. I found no close-up from the same angle. But these pictures clearly show how high the lighthouse is placed. And how much is missing from the rocks. I live on an island in the Atlantic, even Ranty lives by the sea. The fact that you see different things from something far away from the same place is natural and well known. Trying to have it be proof of a flat earth is ignorant or dishonest. In his film, Miles has also posted this comparison between pictures taken from different heights. How do you explain that difference on a flat earth? Good luck, I bring out popcorn and a beer while waiting for your response. Ranty, your mate, Flaza has a channel that is similar to yours. Several videos that clearly show that the earth is a globe. This movie we're watching again. Very good example of the fact that boats disappear with the bottom first because of the curvature of the earth. I have to be honest with you Randy. You are certainly a good painter. But a photographer or a filmmaker you are not. You can't handle a camera. You cannot analyze images or videos. Your total ignorance does not prove the shape of the earth. The use of this YouTuber's videos as some form of proof of the shape of the earth proves only your ignorance. On Friday, February 7, 2020, the first clown of the week was selected and the five candidates for the next week will be presented. Until Thursday 24.00 you can vote on my website. Link in the description. The result is presented in episode 2 of Clown of the Week. It will be released on YouTube on Friday, February 14th at 1400 hours o'clock GMT. Here is a short version of the video about the candidates for Clown of the Week and the lucky winner of the week. If you want to see the entire movie about the candidates, it is linked in the description. And I don't see anything round, not at all. Now, I'm sitting here in Paris, France right now. There's the Eiffel Tower. This building right here, that's the Taj Mahal. I am speechless and have nothing to add. Do you think this is next week's clown? Then don't forget to vote. That boat there is completely underneath. Camera altitude as usual. Here we have a fool who left flat earth and has gone on to believe that the earth is concave. Are there no limits to people's stupidity? Do I need to comment on the handling of the camera? Shaky, out of focus, zooming and a lot of panning. Same concept as most flat earthers. If he is your candidate for clown of the week, go to the website and vote.
try doing that with something spinning underneath your feet at 700 miles an hour. T takes some doing, doesn't it? Stuart Lundy is a flat earther I looked at earlier. Then it was wind turbines he tried to use as evidence that the earth is flat. This time he tried to prove that the earth is stationary with the help of a bird in strong winds. In typical flat earth manners he cannot handle a camera. Is Stuart your candidate for clown of the week? Enter the website and vote. So the reflection proves that the earth is not curved? Where did the rocks on which the lighthouse stands? Ah that mirrors, haze and other things always prove that the earth is flat, according to flat earthers. Do you think this is clown of the week? Enter and vote on the page. No matter the quantity, it is always level, guys. Here's your proof. Proving that the air's flat, Alan. At this level. Ready? Okay. Straight away. Level. Oh, I see tiny fish down there. Where's Wally noticed me on this flat earther? If nothing else, he has found his own style. But does he manage to convince anyone that the earth is flat? Yes, Eric Dubé thinks he's good. Do you think this is clown of the week? Vote on the website. Now is the time to appoint the clown of the week. This time I have chosen among those I debunked this past week. Next week's clown of the week you appoint. Don't forget to suggest clowns for weeks to come. Of all these uh, different stories, um, how it gets compressed the closer you get to the water. And, uh, you know, I knew it was going to be a small object and it's really not that reflective. And I, and I would, I was like, you know, really surprised that if I would be able to see this, especially under these circumstances. The first clown of the week is Wide Awake. He has proved to be a worthy winner with his shaky and blurry videos. Don't forget to go in and vote for next week's clown. Do you have a candidate for the coming weeks? Then submit a suggestion on the website.